So now that you understand what the two most basic intervals are, the one semitone and the two semitone, the half step and the whole step, now that you know what these are, now you can finally understand what a scale is, what a musical scale really is. And all a musical scale is, is, and this is a Wikipedia definition, this is just the first sentence, or somewhat of the first sentence, I, I didn't memorize it, but it's just a sequence of notes played in ascending or descending order, okay? Uh, it's a little bit of a formal thing, but I mean, that's exactly what it is. A scale is just a series or a sequence of notes, okay? And really, the alphabet up here is a sequence of notes. Remember, a sequence, they have a pattern to it, okay? There's, there's a pattern to how they're laid out, and the pattern lies in the distance in between the notes of the scale. So, for example, this alphabet, this musical alphabet, you can also say that it's a, a form of a scale, right? You, you start on A, and then the pattern is you keep on going up a half step each time, right? Because the distance in between each of these notes is just one semitone. So you go to B, one semitone up is C, one semitone up is D, and you keep on going until you get to uh, G sharp, A flat, and then again, if you go up another semitone, you're going to get to A again. So, and then just keeps on going. A, and then you go up another semitone, A sharp, B flat. You just get uh, more, more of the same notes. On guitar, if you, if you look at it this way, you start on the open A string. Start on the open A string. And if you keep on going up a semitone, so this is A. This is, this is A, A sharp, B flat. This is B, C. C sharp D flat D D sharp E flat E if you keep going up uh, F F sharp G flat G G sharp A flat and then you go back to A and what do you think it just stops there no of course not it keeps on going this is A right and then you go up another one A sharp or B flat B C and it just keeps on going up the the guitar neck Okay, and the same thing applies to each of these strings. This is they just start on the different notes of it. For example, this is an E this is an E note, the low E string. So we just start on E. So this is an E note. If you go up one semitone, that's an F. And if you just keep on going up, that's an F sharp or G flat. G G sharp or A flat and just keeps on going up. Now A flat, this is an A, and then now you get it pretty much a sharp b flat b so just understanding that there's a sequence to this will help you memorize at least the last two strings on your guitar all right uh, now as i said this is a musical scale because it has a pattern to it and that pattern is that there's a half step or one semitone in between each of these notes okay by the way this this scale of the musical alphabet it is called the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale. And I want to talk to you about this word chromatic. The chromatic scale. Okay? A lot of times in music, you might come across someone that says, um, you know, just play this line chromatically. What does that mean? It just means to go to play notes that are a half step apart from each other. So if I were to go to this note, if I were to go to the, or, well, you know what, let's go second fret here. Second fret of the A string, if I were to go from here to the fourth fret, and the other musician that I'm playing with says, oh no, play uh, go, go chromatically in between those. Well, now I know what chromatically means. It just goes, it just says this. Just go up by half steps. Go up by semitones. That's what chromatic means. That's what playing chromatically is. Um, if you play, if, if I say, go from the 3rd fret to the 6th fret of the B string, and if I say play that chromatically, it just means go up by half step. Same thing going down. If I go from the 6th fret to the 3rd fret of the B string, that just means go down chromatically. So, and then you just, you know, play... It, it's a great way to um, kind of add a little bit of personality to your solos, especially if you're just playing in pentatonic scales.
know, and you, we'll we'll get to what pentatonics are. And this is that that's that's another that's for another video, but um, it's a great way to kind of spice up some some things. But playing chromatically, all that means is play by half steps or play with um one semitone in between each note. So. Anyway, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll get into um, a, a one other scale that I want you to know before we actually get into what intervals are. So, um, anyway, that, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video.